What is the crack lads? Welcome back to another video. So I had a previous video done for V2.3 where I discussed everything about V2.3 and what I thought like was crazy to just release a V2.3 with no information. Um, that has now been postponed as you can see here due to unforeseen circumstances. The V2.3 update previously scheduled for the 15th has been delayed. So the first part of this video is me introducing it in uh, post and editing over it and then the second part from two minutes on around that two minute mark on is me discussing like all my concerns on and off the pitch with the series and the game and the lack of communication um you know the roadmap without there being a new roadmap out we don't know what dates are still applying like certain things i go through all the roadmap i go look back at the roadmap and i go through a lot of different stuff and we also talk about stuff and issues that are still bothering me and that i think need to be fixed as we go into 2023 because look the game has been out a long time now and not to have a roadmap right whatever about master league i will do a separate video on master because i think that's a bit away but whatever about Master League, but like the, the likes of edit mode and co-op, like things that should be kind of there now in any football game. Forget about Pez, forget about, you know, it. obviously this is a brand new franchise in their eyes. That's fine. It doesn't need to have every single element of Pez being brought over to eFootball. But in this day and age, you do need some sort of edit mode or some sort of like... Um, you know system that you have a feature like led mode or a feature like full uh kind of mode that you're able to get into that doesn't require to just go on to dream team so we're going to cover all of that in the video i hope you guys enjoy it as i said i had this video ready to go and then i woke up this morning and i was just about to push it out live and i saw that the video that v2.3 had been postponed so i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you think as well we are going to be going through everything in about five seconds and i will talk to you in a little bit hope you enjoy the video peace right firstly right when you have that obviously that's v2.3 right we're going to go over here um and look at the actual official roadmap right so this is the official roadmap they released way back when right so we're now in winter we're nearly in 2023 and there's a lot of the stuff on this that hasn't really made it into the game that was said that it was going to be you know into the game right there's still time because i do think that they have kind of like hit a lot of the marks that they wanted to hit and they've kind of like withheld a lot of stuff as well because i think they're still testing out such as like the cross generation matches they're testing out the or not the cross generation matches they're testing out like the cross play and all that sort of stuff right but we're going to go through a couple of bits and pieces here this all kind of kicked off from this if you go back to may 31st on the official eFootball twitter account this thread here this is why what people are kind of talking about right so this thread here mentions it's all the only one of the only mentions of master league and edit mode that we've got right they say that free content is going to be a lobby match which users can create room whatever right that's obviously going to be no that's in like that is there at the moment right but what's really interesting is this tweet here some editing functions will be available in winter 22 cross-platform across console and pc will be available in winter 22 as well right so people have kind of i suppose got that into their heads as saying like you know they associate christmas with winter and they associate december with uh with winter 2022 the fact that they say winter 2022 kind of confuses me because we're going to talk about it in a sec but just to cover the rest of this tweet before we go off it they also talk about as well as the editing functions right in winter 2022 they also talk about by the end of 2022 the number of teams are going to be paid content right so this seems to me from reading this as somebody that doesn't know anything reading this as just a casual fan right if i was to put on my casual uh, glasses and read this this would be that editing mode editing functions are coming in 22 before the end of 22 before the start of 23 cross-platform i can play pc versus console and also the number of teams i'm going to be able to pay uh you know as dlc paid content dlc will be coming by the end of 22 and then master league will be coming during 2023 that could be january 23 it could be december 2023 20, that's left ambiguous right but this bit here this is the one that i want to talk about today right because if we go back to this roadmap okay we talk about early autumn then we talk about autumn then we talk about winter right if we were to go off this roadmap and put a window of winter being the cutoff point at winter 2022 such as this the end of winter 2022 it doesn't say winter 2023 um which is a bit confusing because if you look at the months right and this is what's confusing a lot of people and i think this is where a lot of the confusion has come from on twitter and stuff right if you look at the months here like i would associate myself 
I would associate, it's been a while since I was in school, so I would associate that the months would have always been, you know, November, December, January, but in actuality, a lot of the, like, the months are, like, December, January, and February, so if we were to go off this roadmap, with the winter window now, including February, right, we could actually, like, get all this stuff in February, like, by the end of February, right, so we could get edit mode by the end of February, we could get cross-platform for PC and consoles by February, because that would be the winter season condensed into those months, right? Even the Japanese seasons here on this scale, you have uh, in Japan, the winter season is December to March. So, you know, does that push the board out a little bit? The confusion, I think, comes from winter 2022, because um, that's what confused me originally when I saw this way back in last summer. Um, you know, so that is something to keep a track on, right? But if the roadmap of what we're looking at, right? Local matches, team building mode, online leagues, all new engine rollout, cross-generation matches, the match pass system, they're all in. We also have the esports tournament that kicked off with the Bruno Cup and a couple of other bits and pieces that they're planning, which we'll be able to talk about soon. That esports tournament has already kicked off uh, where they got like, the, you know, the it Italian uh, announcement and all that, the Coppa Italia announcement and all that sort of stuff. The online leagues, the team building mode, and that's all, all, you know, that's dream team effectively. And then the cross-platform matches, the cross-platform matches between mobile console and PC, console and PC, and mobile controller support. They're the only things missing off of this, like er off this roadmap. Everything else is there. There is no mention of edit mode on this roadmap. There's no mention of master league on this roadmap. There's no mention of paid DLC for leagues or an offline league. So based on that roadmap, they probably still might think that this window is going to include January and February. So if that comes, we might see a big update in February that includes the rest of this to clear off this roadmap. And then they'll have a new roadmap from, you know, say March 2023 to E3. And then at E3, they'll make more announcements on season three, as well as eFootball 2024, when that decides to come out or, you know, whatever. So yeah, there is a lot of confusion, man. There is a lot of confusion. I think that could be just like a new roadmap would, would like, like completely clear everything up but i just feel like that they are probably wanting to make sure that they have edit mode right they have master league right i know that it's a priority like co-op to me is a huge priority i think my problem with the game at the moment lads genuinely is the fact that there is still a lot of issues there that need to be addressed and when you're looking at that roadmap here i think that that roadmap should be a separate thing and then you could have like a gameplay style roadmap as well where they're going to be adding this adding that you know, refining this, refining that, and then every kind of month have an update of like, yeah, we've improved the servers, we've improved the responsiveness, you know, is the responsiveness too fast, is it too slow, um, I think V2.2, there's a lot of control there, but there's also a lot of stuff that creep creeps into the game when the connection is bad between you and your opponent, so that's something that they need to be constantly addressing, like, in my opinion, and like, even when they add stuff, right, when they added the, like, the, the cup that they added, the filter system with the cup, you're still coming up against teams like this. Now, this is like a problem that people have to resort to this and like trying to circumvent the conditions to get somebody in and get a player in and have Mbappe up front with 98 overall. And like, you know, like just have to do this. Like some people see this as cheating. It's not cheating, but some people see this as cheap. I think it's cheap to put, uh, you know, f like seven or eight or whatever it is on your bench of uh, 50 rated players as low as you possibly can and get the rest of your starting 11 absolutely beastly so that you can get under the team's strength to be able to do this event, right? You are going to have issues like that, but Konami can fix that very easily by just changing a couple of tweaks, you know, not having players over, you know, 85 or 86, that you have to have a bench, like 85 to 86 players, you still have to have some players on your bench that will be in the 70s if you're going to hit the hit the target. Um, that's that's one issue. And then the other issue for me is also like four bars, you know, uh, inter or connectivity between opponents. Like four bar sometimes can feel like two bar. It can sometimes feel like six bar, five bar. It can be perfect. It can be flawless. I haven't suffered too much with the connection, but I know a lot of people are. I play wired. It's one gig down. I think it's like 400 up. I, do, I have a fairly beastly internet connection. Not everyone is going to have that speed, but you shouldn't need that speed. You know, I know a lot of people that play Wi-Fi and it's it's hard for them. Um, you shouldn't be playing Wi-Fi, I think, if you are, are having issues, but I know sometimes running wires and stuff can be difficult. So I think there needs to be more transparency as to what makes a match a four-bar match. And this is just stuff I'm talking about that is like completely away from the pitch, right? I'm going to just play a match here 
in the background and just talk about a couple of issues that I have with the actual gameplay as well that I wanted to see addressed for V2.3. Because I do, I do think that V2.2 has a lot of good aspects about it. Like, I think it's nice pace. I think you can pass the ball around. I think you can, like, score nice goals. There are still issues, as you will see. Like, I've had a couple of issues in the last couple of games with the player responsiveness. It's due to connection, man. But, like, I sign up and I'm playing a four-bar connection match. And it feels like a two-bar connection match. And when the connection is down, when you're looking at clips here and you're saying, yeah, you know, you made a bad pass here, you made a bad pass there, you didn't react quick enough here, your defender was pulled out of position, playing the game is different than actually looking at the clips of the game. Because when you're playing the game and you're turning with, you know, Maldini or Pamecano or whoever, it's not registering it in that split second. And that split second is enough to make you you know, go from a Division 1 player skill level to like a Division 6 player skill level because it looks like you're making mistakes when you're actually not. And I know that's a bit of a cop-out. You still will win the matches that you are going to win. If you are better than your opponent or you get a couple of lucky breaks, you're just able to outplay your opponent, you still will win your matches. Like, I know that and it is kind of, you know, excuses. But the game does feel like a different game when the responsiveness isn't there. Like, especially for somebody like me who likes to play possession and doesn't do the one-touch passing all the way up the pitch. Because the one-touch passing is still a bit too assisted, in my opinion. You will see games where you will come up against guys that they will literally just one-touch pass you. And because the AI when you're not in control of them, is unresponsive to the point of the AI passing that it's kind of broken. People know how to abuse that. Good players know how to abuse that. They know how to abuse the lack of responsiveness. You can only player switch as fast as the game will let you. So even if your brain is actively reading the play and reading where the ball is going to go, and you're trying to do it, you're pressing everything. I mean, you only have the power of pressing the buttons in your hand and your brain thought. That's it. Like, you don't have the control of the four or five players that you need to defend with. So that is something that I think needs to be fixed. I think that there is big promise there. There's a lot of unfulfilled p potential there. In terms of Master League, in terms of edit mode and all that sort of stuff, I just don't think that they're going to shoehorn that in. I think they will announce that. I think they'll have a new roadmap on it. They'll want to detail it. They'll want to include that in in a big way. That's my opinion because it's such a big part of the old PES DNA that they'll want to bring it in and have a really good start to the eFootball DNA with edit mode with Master League and really take their time on that. So I'm going to do a video. If you guys would want a video on Master League and discuss some of my thoughts on that because I know that there's a big passionate Master League fan base that might you know be interested in a more long form video where I just talk about Master League and my hopes for it in the future. Let me know on that. But yeah, other than that, lads, uh, I mean, that's it for V2.3. We will have a short video on just the roundup of V2.3, but there isn't much really there apart from one new pack. Um, but that's it. Let me know your thoughts, lads. Let me know your thoughts on V2.3. Let me know if you'd like to see more, you know, patch notes, more regularly, more transparency. Like, I would have even liked to have seen, look, you know, a little extra note saying we've taken into consideration the latest surveys, you know, we've been listening to the community, we've been talking to the community. Because when I'm giving feedback, right, it is being listened to, but it just depends on when they're going to improve things. And I'm not talking about me just giving feedback. I'm talking about when actual feedback is asked for and it's going back and there's a lot of research gone into it. It's not just me, you know, messaging somebody saying like, yeah, you need to fix the responsiveness. You know, there's a lot of um, a lot of research gone into it. There's a lot of gameplay. There's a lot of hours gone into it, not just from me. Um, but whenever I'm asked for feedback, I try and give as wide as variety as possible. That's why I always ask you lads for feedback and I'll put it back as much as I can. Um, but I think everyone that plays the game regularly, would, regardless of your skill level, will know the issues that the game is facing. You know, even if you're enjoying the game, I can still see the issues there. So I would have liked maybe just one more note to say, yeah, we're working on the responsiveness. You know, we're going to be able to see why this is a four star match. You're going to be able to see if the player is using Wi-Fi or if he's using wired stuff like that, you know, that you're able to kind of like inter like incorporate a lot of the feedback that they are using and a lot of stuff that they are using that they want to improve. Rafa Silva with a beastly goal here, lads. Ugh, nearly choked on that. It was so good. But uh, yeah, when the game flows, it's really fun. But that's it for me, lads. I don't want to keep harping on about it. Let me know what you think about the roadmap. Let me know if this video has helped you understand things. Are we looking at like winter 2022? as like up to February 2023? Is it just kind of a miscommunication? Um, and let me know your thoughts. I will talk to you later, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.